Okay, here we are again in the crypt, and we're going to show you now our second uh, video for uh, playing Tudor games. Now, the crypt here is underneath the cathedral and was built by St. Wolston, the founder of the cathedral, a thousand years ago. But today we have here Matilda, Lady Jane Seymour's lady-in-waiting. Hello. And we have Sarah Hayward, one of our education Hello. team here. Now, Sarah, what are you playing this time? We're going to play the goose. Which okay. is a lovely Tudor game. It's a little bit like Ludo, but it is um, a little bit com more complicated. Uh, we've got a white counter and a black counter, and we've got two dice. We need two dice. So each player takes it in turn to roll two dice and move around the board the number of spaces that have been rolled. So we'll do that. So one and two is three. One, two, three. Your turn. Thank you. Six, eleven. Okay, so that seems pretty straightforward. Uh, is there anything, is, it, is that it, or is there a bit more to the game? Okay, only one player is allowed on a square at a time. If a player lands on an occupied square, the two players swap places on the board. Okay, so you're on three and Lynn's on eleven. So say you rolled eight. Am I there? Yep. If I land on an occupied square, the two players swap places. Have to go back. Oh, I see. Yeah, there you go. Oh, so that's okay. The, lad the, lad the snake, the lad is on snake. I guess, yes. yeah, yeah. So, your turn. Six. Oh, also, you've, some, you've landed on a number nine here. Yeah. Yep. Now, some squares are marked with pictures. Oh, if you yes. land on these squares, you must do the following. If it's a goose, which are the squares 5, 9, 14, 18, 23, 27, 32, 36, etc., yeah. move forward. Again, the same number of squares that you just moved. So you do six, six again. again. It's like a double. Yeah. If you land, however, on the bridge... Which is square six, it says there. Square six, that's yeah. the bridge. Then you advance to square number 12. Okay. If you land on the tavern, number 19, then you have a drink and stay in the tavern <laughs> and you miss two turns. Oh dear, that's <laughs> not a good thing, is it? That sounds just typical. Do that, it does, doesn't it? And of course, we all know under coronavirus that we shouldn't be in the pub anyway. Exactly. So there we go. If you land on square 31, she's there. Yep. Is that it? No. 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 It's hard to be there. Oh, yeah, there you go. There, then it says that's the well, and you fall in the well and must remain there for two turns. Mm -hmm. If you land on number 42, which is here, well done, then that's the maze. You get lost in the maze and must go back to square 30. Oh dear, Ooh. that's not a good thing, is it? Not very good. If you land on the prison, square 52, which is here, then you must stay in prison for two turns, so miss two turns. Oh dear, if you land on square 58, then that is a skull and crossbones, so that's death. Oh, that's unlucky. <gasps> oh dear, you must go back to the start of the board. Oh, oh dear, goodness. that's very harsh, isn't it? And finally, if you land on square 62, that's the goblet. You have lost, you have one last drink and miss a turn. So there's a lot of missing of turns if you land on these particular pictures. A lot of drinking. Yes. A lot of drinking. <laughs> very Tudor. The winner is the first player to reach square 63, which is there. In order to win, you must reach square 63 with an exact roll of the dice. If you roll too high, you must go to square 63 and come backwards to complete oh, yeah. the so, turn and try again. So counting back. Turn. So it's a very good game. Yes. Excellent. Thank you, Sarah, for introducing that to us. You're welcome. Okay, so to play the goose, uh, we'll, we've put the instructions and a copy of the board online, and then you can just print them off and use your own counters and dice uh, to have a go at playing this Tudor game uh, that was popular with Tudors back in the day.